Hi, my name's Allison Clark, and welcome to another episode of Cowbells and Conversations. So we have heard that a lot of people are burnt out on meetings. They're burnt out on virtual meetings, whether it's Zoom, Teams, but also the kids are being affected with this because they have a lot of virtual learning to do. And so the purpose of this to give you some ideas on how to keep people's attention. So I thought I should get some experts um, in my life. Actually, I've known two of them their entire life because they're my daughters. And the other panelists are people that I've known also their entire life. So we have represented elementary school and also different colleges to talk about what's working and what is not. So I'm gonna have them introduce themselves. I'm gonna start with Jenna. Jenna, if you could tell us who you are, where you go to school and what you're studying. Um, I'm Jenna and I'm currently a junior at Oregon State and I'm studying business administration. Got it. And what's your favorite thing about college when you were going to college with people? Um, I definitely miss just like my walk to class now and like being in a setting where I'm around people. Um, mm -hmm. And like I miss the social aspect of it a lot for sure. Mm -hmm. I also feel like I learn better in person. So like mm -hmm. having that teacher explain to me face to face and use body language and things like that is something right. that I'm missing. Okay. Thank you. And then uh, Cole and Cade, you live in California, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. So tell us um, what grade you're in and then your favorite thing about school. Hi, I'm in fourth grade. And then my favorite thing about school is like math. Is math. And grading. Nice. And what's your name? Uh, Cade. You're Cade. Okay. Thank you. And then Cole. Um, my name is Cole. And um, <laughs> what's your favorite thing about school? Um, math. Both math. Okay, good. All right. Thank you. Uh, Jamie, tell us who you are and where you go to school. Okay, I'm Jamie, and I go to Colorado State University. I'm studying business management. And something that I miss about school is just being around my friends all the time for, like, study groups and then just hanging out and just having that atmosphere of multiple students around. It's kind of hard to find motivation when you're just on your own. Right. Now. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And our final panelist, Nathan. Yes, my name is Nathan. Um, I go to the Air Force Academy and I'm studying aeronautical engineering. Um, one thing I miss the most is being around, like having all my best friends like down the hallway from me and like mm -hmm. we'd all kind of push each other um, in the classroom and out of the classroom. So I miss that atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Of just people. So it sounds like the three of you definitely miss the people, the social. Uh, Cole and Kate, do you also miss your friends? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, but you play Fortnite with them, right? Yes. Okay, good. All right, good. All right. So we're going to talk about what is the best thing that has actually kept your attention. So everyone's had to switch from a face-to-face -face situation, and now they have to go virtual. So who wants to start first? Like, what really works when your teachers, professors are working with you as far as in a virtual space? What works for you? Um, I can go first. Okay. So I've noticed that even in person, like having attendance and being like kept accountable is a really big thing just to start, like to show up for class. So mm -hmm. teachers have attendance. That definitely helps. Um, and then as far as just during the Zoom class, I like when they do breakout rooms and, or I don't necessarily like it, but it keeps me engaged and it keeps me <laughs> listening. You have to pay attention. Yeah. And so it's also like, I don't know, it just makes you have to listen and then also use the information that you've just learned and talk about it with other students and then have the teacher check back in. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm, I'm not a fan of when they do um, just go through the PowerPoint and mm -hmm. just like they share their screen and just talk through it because it's really boring and I could go through the PowerPoint on my own time. On your own? Yeah. Right. Um, and then lastly, I think just like how engaged they are in their tone of voice and also just being able to relate to us and talk and be real, I guess. Mm -hmm. Good. So conversational, but also when you go into a breakout room, you have to pay attention mm -hmm. because you're interacting with other people, correct? Yeah. 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 
And I've also seen some of your professors um, have you turn on your camera so they mm -hmm. can actually see that you are there for attendance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, who wants to go next? So what do you like? And then also like what isn't working? So for Jenna, what wasn't working is just tons of slides and really not talking about them. Mm -hmm. uh, I can go next. So okay. kind of similar um, with the PowerPoint is uh, my, my physics class. It's really long. It'll be about two hours and it's just PowerPoint. And I'm like, I'll usually end up in my bed, like falling asleep again. So <laughs> Because um, they aren't engaging with you, right? Yeah, yeah. No, not much engagement, except for like the fear that you might be called on every now and then. Mm -hmm. So that sometimes keeps me up. But then um, something that's worked is in my Cal class, um, you can learn it on your own. It's like asynchronous. So you watch the videos. And then if you have questions, they're, um, they're on a Zoom or um, on a team's call 24 or not 24 seven, but about seven hours during the day. Mm -hmm. If you ever have a question, you can just pop in and ask it. So oh, that's nice. So, so you have access to your professors. Yes. Yeah, so okay. like a lot of access to ask questions. Okay, good. So if people are not asking you questions and they just speak at you for two hours, you're going to go take a nap. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Right? Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, Cole and Cade. So, um, tell us what grades you're in again. Four through six. Okay. So what is your favorite thing? Because I know that both of you have Zoom <laughs> with your classes. So what is your favorite thing for classes? Like what keeps you, your attention? Uh, like science and like arts and crafts. So are they having you do experiments or like what are they doing with your classes? Yeah, they're doing um, like experiments for us to like try out. <laughs> Nice. Good. And so do they do it on the video and then you have to do it? No, we just try, try it out in school. Nice. I know it's funny. Okay, good. <laughs> so it's, it's going to be interactive, right? Good. I know it's, it is funny sometimes. Okay. And then Jamie, so what's yeah. your attention? So I like when uh, the teachers like after blocks of new information when they check in and they're like does anybody have any questions and like sometimes it's kind of awkward because no one replies but like sometimes people do actually ask questions mm -hmm. and then the teacher is really appreciative appreciative of that mm -hmm. um and also like teachers calling on you uh sometimes it's kind of nerve-wracking but sometimes it kind of makes you feel like you're actually a part of the class instead of just it kind of can feel like you're not really doing anything when you're doing all online and it kind of makes you feel good when you get a question right or something like that. So just little rewards. And then something that I don't like is some of my teachers just aren't posting any lectures, like they're just posting the PowerPoints. Mm. Um, so I think with online teaching, it's really, really important for the teacher to teach like visually um because especially for me i learn from people talking instead of just reading it mm -hmm. so like and with powerpoints if they are going to use them having less information and then explaining more than what's just on the powerpoint mm -hmm. so that you're not reading the whole time mm -hmm. i find is really really helpful okay good so less on the visuals more conversation to keep you engaged yeah and also relating it to like the current situation like for my supply chain class and like my entrepreneurship class, they're relating it to what's going on now. Mm -hmm. And that just makes everything more relevant. Mm -hmm. Good. So making sure that you can actually connect to it. Yeah. Okay. And then what's the funniest thing that's ever happened so far? Like we've heard a lot of stories about people forgetting to mute themselves and weird things happen in the background. Um, Jenna, I know that you were saying that you like seeing one of your teacher's cat's tail, like always <laughs> comes up into the, to the class. Like, are there any funny stories, but also that we can learn from that we might not want to do? Like, is anything bad kind of funny happened? Um, it's just really that funny, but like it kind of is, I don't really know. But when the teachers do the backgrounds, like they change their background, mm -hmm. like it's just kind of weird to me. It's, it just makes it not very serious. And like, some of them are kind of funny what they do. And like, I think it's, it's fun and definitely keeps us engaged, but it also is just weird. I don't know how to explain. Right. So the virtual backgrounds, just be aware of like what your background is because it can be yeah. distracting. Yeah, like they make their, 
I don't uh, know. They'll be like places they've traveled to or like sometimes oh, they yeah. do weird like funny things and it's it definitely is a good idea just to keep students engaged and it is funny and it's kind of nice to see that I feel like we're a more personal relationship with our teachers, I guess, because mm -hmm. they are at home and we're able to see their home and their pets and whatever. So, right. Not necessarily really a funny story, but. <laughs> right. But just be aware of like your background. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Cole and Kate, has anything funny ever happened when you're watching your classes online? Um, to think of it, nothing comes to my mind. Not right now. <laughs> just right now. It's funny. That's good. I like it. <laughs> Uh, Nathan and Jamie, was there anything that happened to you that you would either say like, don't ever do this or like any, any of the other students doing things? Cause I know Jenna, when you first went online, you showed me a couple students that had like really funny pictures of themselves, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, but is there anything that you would say don't do or that has entertained you? For my classes, uh, we turn off our microphone and our, um, what's it called? Camera? Screen recording. Yeah. Oh. Camera. And so um, nothing has really happened that I've seen, but something that's kind of, I don't know if I would say funny, but it's just kind of something that's happened is that a lot of my teachers will like yawn and like talk really, really slowly. Uh -huh. And it's just so, it makes the class so much harder to watch. And oh, like, yeah. I find myself just multitasking when that happens. Yeah. So if they're not engaged and excited, it's going to be hard for you to be excited. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then Nathan, is there anything that you want to add from the Air Force? Um, a little bit on the side of multitasking. So one time, like usually in my psychology class, it's a lot of um, just like check in, like how are you doing, blah blah blah. So usually that takes a while. So I'm like, okay, I'll go take a shower, um, <laughs> play, get over here, and then because I already checked in with her, so I was like, okay, I'm probably good. And then she called on me again. She's like, oh, yeah, what were you saying earlier, Nathan? I was like, oh, my gosh. So, <laughs> she's like, yeah, where'd you go? I was like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But, yeah, right. it, it was fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think moral story is be careful of how much you multitask. Yes, exactly. But here's the reality. If your camera is not on, you are going to multitask. Mm -hmm. And True. I have witnessed my own daughters doing a couple things. You know, you're just like, oh, you're putting your makeup on instead of, yeah, it's good. <laughs> Sorry, I just called you out to your professors. But so when people's <laughs> cameras are on, then you have to stay more engaged, right? Because people oh. are watching you. But yeah. if they just show you a lot of PowerPoints and just say like, hey, watch this, you could be doing, you could shower or go for a run or whatever you're yeah. doing, right? And I just thought of like how Cole and Cade like are laughing and everything. And I find myself just like laugh, like if I have friends on Zoom and we're all in the Zoom class, like I find myself laughing because it is just uncomfortable. Like you're just feel weird about it. Right. You like you're like super young again and you're just laughing for no reason. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because, well, and also it is one way that we can connect with humans. So it's also exciting, right? Yeah. And you're like, oh my gosh, I get to see these people. Yeah. So I wonder why your professors have you turn off your camera. Is it because it could be distracting like Cole and Kate or not? They didn't explain. Oh, okay. I think all my teachers at least have wanted us to put our cameras on because they feel they've been very open and real and just said I feel better when I actually get to see students faces and makes me feel like I'm te still teaching and right. I'm, we're actually listening so but also you started like your your whole term started mm -hmm. online whereas I'm in semesters so it was like halfway through that it switched mm -hmm. to online mm -hmm. so maybe the teachers are like we saw you for long enough we're done <laughs> <laughs> we know who you are you know yeah like they already have gotten to know us right maybe yep. I don't know that's yep. the possibility okay good so it's in summary it sounds like and that's definitely the cowbell idea <laughs> like keep people engaged use their names um, don't just show a, a thousand PowerPoints because we're going to definitely lose, you know, people's attention when we do that. Um, and then Cole, I have one final question for you. Your mom had offered nicely to take a pet snake home because she thought it would just be over spring break. So tell us what happened with your pet snake and how long you've actually had it. Um, I've had it for like a month. Mm -hmm. And we thought we were only going to keep it for two weeks because mm -hmm. of spring break. Yeah. And then, and then you <laughs> kept, 
<laughs> then you didn't go back to school, right? <laughs> Does your mom like? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So your mom hates snakes. She said like, oh yeah, sure, two weeks, and now you've had a snake for a month, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, we're gonna do one final thing. I don't know if you guys have ever used a poll, but you have to vote. So I'm gonna launch the poll. What is the one change people could make to have their meetings or classes keep your attention more? Number one, make the sessions more fun, use people's names, be more prepared, ask more questions, show us their pets, start and end on time, be more interactive, use better visuals, be aware of their tone of voice, or smile and use their body language more. What do you guys think would help? So Cole and Kate, you have to vote for one. Mm -hmm. I want to vote for all of them. <laughs> yeah, I feel like these are all really good. Yeah. Yeah. As I'm watching this too, you know, you think about the teachers who have to keep elementary schools. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah. <laughs> so meetings, we have it totally easy as adults. You know, those teachers wow. who are teaching, you know, fourth and sixth grade. I have a lot of empathy for you. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Nathan, did you vote? Yeah, I think I want to be more interactive. More interactive. Okay, Jenna, Jamie, did you vote? Yeah, I said to use people's names. Okay. And Jamie, did you vote? I only see two votes here. Yes, I said interactive as well. Oh, interactive. Okay. Cold and K, anything else that would make it more exciting for you? Um, no? You love your classes? That's good. All right, so <clears throat> as you can see, that we can use people's names, become more interactive, and then you are going to keep people's attention um, more effectively. So when you're running meetings, just be thinking about what you're doing. Is it fun? Is it engaging? Are you using the chat room? Are you using the breakout rooms? As you heard Jenna say, if you use breakout rooms, people have to pay attention. If your employees are perhaps showering like Nathan, then you want to make sure that you, I mean, you want them to shower, but not during your sessions, but we want to make sure we're keeping people's attention by making it more interactive, by having fun, by using your body language, smiling and engaging your audience. So I want to thank all of you for taking time to give all of us ideas. Cole and Cade, you're awesome. Um, thanks for joining from California. Nathan, thank you also for joining from Northern California. Jenna and Jamie, thanks for joining from Oregon. And you guys are awesome. We're going to make every meeting and class more engaging because all of you. So thank you so much. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye.